Brian Preston, a geological engineer with Golder Associates, and the pilot from this video. What you're seeing here is a recording from the onboard camera of our custom-built underground-specific drone, which we use to explore areas of excavations that are unsafe for personnel to access. We're working in an underground gold mine that is currently under care and maintenance in order to assist with the rehabilitation, which involves backfilling some of the old stopes with paste backfill, which is generally a combination of tailing sand, cement, and water. A stope is the large excavation left behind after ore extraction. This stope was previously scanned using a laser-based cavity monitoring system, which provided the general 3D shape. The scanner would have been inserted through the opening you're seeing here. However, a potential was identified for this stope to be connected to another one on the next mining level up, which could cause issues during backfill operations. The difficulty with using the CMS to assess this potential issue was that the area of interest is at the far top corner of the stope, off to our right now in the video, where resolution of the scan is lowest, resulting in uncertainty. By using the drone, we were able to fly into the stope and directly to the area of interest to check for connections. The drone is piloted in real time using a first person view video link so we can modify the flight path to ensure that we get the information we need and are able to thoroughly explore previously inaccessible open stopes. In this case, we found that the stope was choked off with rock fill. As the drone was custom built, we're constantly modifying it and improving it. Our main focus is to improve its range, which is largely controlled by the strength of the control and video radio connections, so we can access more areas of more mines. A difficulty we have with flying underground is maintaining our radio links while traveling around corners and in excavations. The radio waves do not penetrate rock well, so depending on the geometry of the excavation and where we can launch from, our range can be fairly limited. Conversely, when we fly along a linear feature such as a tunnel or a mining drift, the range is often limited by the battery life, which is about 10 to 15 minutes. In the case of this flight, we were able to get relatively close to the corner into the open stope, which allowed for a strong radial link throughout the flight. We're now backing the drone through the tight entrance of the excavation, flying line of sight, for a safe landing and preparation for the next flight.